Master George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Lent, and you're probably already doing it wrong. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Lent is here. With it, uh, the time that Lutherans love. We get to be the grumpy people that we've always thought we needed to be. Solemn. Wallowing in our sins. Dust we are and dust we shall return. Poor, miserable sinners. Sackcloth and ashes. Just the way we are happiest as Lutherans. Singing minor hymns by old dead Germans. Well, besides the caricatures, if Lent for you is about you being somber, if Lent for you is about your fast, if Lent for you is about you suffering and sacrificing for God, then you're already doing your Lent wrong, and you need to repent of that today to be saved. Lent is about Jesus for you. And as you fast in Lent, as you fix your eyes on Jesus, you put on a happy faith. You let no one know you're fasting. You let no one know that you're um, that you've got that, that you're that you're that you're holding back. Lent is a somber season, but it's not a grumpy season. And every year I say say have a happy Lent with the verses in mind that from Jesus in Matthew 6 that we heard yesterday. When you fast, don't disfigure your faces like the Pharisees do, for they love to show people that they're fasting by their somber faces. So when you Lent, don't put on a sad, grumpy face. You know, like, I gave up coffee, and I haven't had caffeine in 48 hours. Get away from me. I hate this Lenten season. No. When you go through Lent, remember that you're forgiven. Remember that you've been, you've been suffered and died for. Remember that you are raised from the dead in the waters of your baptism. Be joyful in the Lenten season. Have behind your, in front of your somberness, a joy that is certain of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Because you know the end of the story. That you know that he went through Lent for you in the wilderness. He, 40 days is his fast. His doing an Israel for you so that you would have life and not just life, but life that goes on and on and on. Live not for yourself, but for those around you. See, Lent isn't just about you making a sacrifice. Lent is about Jesus' sacrifice for you and that sacrifice is lived out for others. We'll talk about Lent and fasting tomorrow, but the key to it, the key to it, is not to let anyone know that you're fasting. For then your Father who sees what has, what's done in secret will reward you. Now, uh, this, this sort of troubles folks who want to sort of talk about what's going on with their fasting. And it's actually gotten me letters from pastors who are like, you know, the first thing w when we did a video a few years ago about the first thing about Lenten fasting is that you don't talk about Lenten fasting. Um, they, they, they sort of pointed to the ancient tradition of, of, of this fast. Look, if, if, it, if you want to talk about your fasting, good for you. Just understand you get your reward in full in the suppression of your body. But Jesus points you away from talking about your fast. And this isn't me giving you some sort of law. This is the Lord Christ telling you that Put your body under submission, but do it with joy because you're free to put your body, to bend your body to, to the will of God, to beat your body into shape this Lenten season. Don't do it because you have to. Do it because you, because you were died for. Don't do it because you feel like you, you need to for, to be, for Lent to work. Do it because of the cross and because of the resurrection. Lent is about Jesus for you, not about you for Jesus. You for Jesus is the wrong way to go. That ends poorly every single time in the scriptures. See, Holy Week. 
If you're going to do you for someone, be for your neighbor. Your neighbor could really use you being for them this Lenten season. We'll talk about Lenten fasting again tomorrow. But today it's enough to say, be joyful. That's the way to do Lent. Somber, repentant joy. I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this has been another Higher Things video short.